Hello all, welcome to part 46 of Cucumber BDD training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to publish Cucumber reports to the cloud using properties files. So let's get started. In the previous session, I covered and practically demonstrated how to publish the Cucumber reports to the cloud using this publish attribute. We have to specify this publish attribute in the at the rate Cucumber options annotation of the runner class. Okay. I'll show you here guys. If you can see here, this is a runner class. Okay. In this runner class, in this runner class, on the top of the runner class, we have provided at the rate Cucumber options annotation. Here in this, one of the attribute earlier we have provided is publish is equal to true. If you specify publish is equal to true, okay, the report will be published onto the cloud. Okay, so I'll show you guys. Okay, here I'll not show you. This I already have shown you in the previous session, but I'll run this without. Here you see in the Cucumber options, publish is equal to true is not mentioned. So if I run this, when publish is equal to true is not mentioned, it's nothing but publish is equal to false here. All the feature files will run with the help of runner class and we will get it kind of a box like this, it is saying that you have to activate publishing okay, of these reports onto the cloud. So publishing the Cucumber report onto the cloud is not activated. So if you want to activate, there are multiple options or multiple ways, guys. So one of the way using JNIT is that I already covered in the previous session. Okay, that is in the at the rate Cucumber options of the runner class here, I have to provide or specify an attribute known as publish is equal to true. If I specify that, the Cucumber reports will be published onto the cloud at this particular URL as, as explained in the previous session. But in this session, I'm not going to cover this because this is already covered as part of the previous session. But in this session, I'm going to show you the other ways uh, where we are going to use a properties file, okay? Properties files we are going to create using which we'll be able to publish the same Cucumber reports onto the cloud, okay? There are multiple ways of publishing the Cucumber reports uh, to the cloud. One way is that I showed you in the previous session. Uh, other way is like uh, by creating the properties file. Okay, in this session, I am talking about publishing the Cucumber reports onto the cloud using properties files. Okay, for that, what we have to do? All the instructions are provided here, guys. Okay, so you have to create this properties file with properties file with this name Cucumber under SRC REST resources. Okay, here we have three source folders in this project so far. This project have been creating and updating and uh, creating the structure in the pre from the previous sessions, right? This we got from the previous sessions. Okay. SRC main Java is there, SRC test Java is there, SRC test resources source folder is there. Here they are talking about SRC test resources source folder. Expand that SRC test resources source folder. Under that, you have to create a properties file with the name Cucumber, guys. How to create this properties file? Right click on this SRC test resources and select new and uh, say file and name this file as Cucumber dot properties okay the same name you have to give guys cucumber name you have to give extension should be properties click on finish the properties file will be created and as shown in this box in this cucumber dot properties file you have to okay write this particular attribute cucumber dot publish dot enabled is equal to true okay cucumber dot publish dot enable is equal to true okay so we'll cross check again Cucumber dot publish dot enabled is equal to so we have created it properly click on save all now once this is done go to the runner class and run it run it guys even though publish is equal to true is not mentioned in this cucumber options of the runner class but since you created the cucumber properties file under the src test resources and provided this attribute this time the report should be published onto the cloud okay other way guys this is other other another way okay run as jnit test so we got the output. Let's scroll from starting to the ending. And uh, here we can see that, okay, you are, uh, you see Cucumber report has been published onto the cloud, okay? Published onto the cloud. You can share, cloud means internet guys, nothing but internet. You can share with your all your team members and all, okay? Using this URL rather than copy pasting this uh, uh, generated reports uh, under the target folder, okay? You can give this URL, right? That's very easy to share. But the problem here is the report will still destruct in 24 hours okay within a day it will expire okay uh, so i copied the url guys i paste it here uh, i'll just see if any symbols got added here the last uh, uh, let me cross it 8 bo is there https so before https uh, there should not be any symbols here when copy pasting and after 8 bo there should not be any symbols now press enter you see the 
the cucumber report which is published onto the cloud that is onto the internet is displayed here and it's clearly saying that uh, this report will self destruct in a day okay this report will self destruct in a day if you want to distract it immediately you can say delete report guys so this url will be active for 24 hours guys after it got generated and you can immediately delete guys if you don't want the report to be available for 24 hours you can click on delete and delete it okay that you already know you see there is a complete report we got okay now what i will do is uh, i'll close this point uh, thing guys and i'll go to the eclipse id and uh, i'll remove this property and check this time if i don't uh, if i delete this properties file what is happening we'll see okay i'll delete this cucumber.properties file when that properties file is there and when we have provided the attribute uh, the report got published into the uh, cloud onto the cloud that is internet okay now run it uh, without that uh, properties file we'll see that uh, it should not be published onto the cloud, guys. You see, this time it has not been published onto the cloud. Again, it's saying you have to activate publishing onto the cloud. Now I'll show you another way of uh, creating the properties file under the same SRC test resources, okay? And providing the attribute, okay? This is the second way of the, using the properties file, okay? So under the same SRC test resources, you have to create JNIT hyphen platform. This is another alternative way, guys. Either you can say cucumber.properties or you can say JNIT hyphen platform.properties because we are using JNIT for now. So here I'll say, right click new, file jnit hyphen what was that guys jnit hyphen platform dot properties okay right click new file jnit hyphen platform dot properties file click that uh, enter that and uh, okay. what is the problem here Okay, it got opened here. Okay, let me drag this side so that I'll close this chain thing. Here in the properties file, I'll uh, I'll provide this same attribute and value guys. Cucumber dot publish dot enabled is equal to true. I'll provide so cucumber dot publish dot enabled is equal to true. I'll click on save and uh, now run this runner class using JN test and see whether it got published or not. Okay. See whether the report, no, it got, didn't get published. Okay. It didn't get published due to some reasons. Publish dot any mistakes we have done. J unit hyphen platform dot properties. J un, unit hyphen platform dot properties. And also here under that properties file, cucumber dot publish dot enabled is equal to everything is fine, but it's not coming up. Okay. So this properties is working, but this one is not working. Cucumber.publish.enabled is equal to true. I think everything is fine. We can copy paste also. We can cross check again. We can copy paste and cross check again. So, so here, okay. Some symbols are coming. Remove that symbols, guys. Okay. Is equal to true. You just mentioned that's enough. Okay. Now let me run again. If any mistakes I have done, maybe, okay. It may not happen. Oh, no, it's not happening. I'll update the project also once. Uh, Maven update project last chance. That cucumber.properties is working, but this uh, JNIT hyphen platform.properties is not working. Okay. Under the resources only, right? Under the resources, they mentioned JNIT hyphen platform. J unit hyphen platform.properties. Properties. Everything is fine. Okay. Uh, as per their instructions we are doing, but it's not working out. Let's see this time. If it is not coming, we can ignore guys. Okay, it's not working out guys. This properties option is not working. So you can use this one guys. As per their information only, we are doing that, but it's this particular way is not working. JNIT hyphen platform dot properties is not working for now. Okay, so cucumber dot properties is working. Okay, so if you do the same thing in cucumber dot properties, it is working, but it has to work guys. There may be a defect or something. Okay. In the latest version of Cucumber, there may be a defect. That's okay guys. Uh, you don't have to dig deep because one of the properties file is working, but this was, this should also work, but it's not working. Okay. We, we cannot do anything there because that is out of our control, right? But as per their documentation and as per their whatever the information they're providing in the output console, it should work. Now, if I create a file like Cucumber dot properties, it's, it, it will, it is working. Okay. Uh, then here I'll say Cucumber dot cucumber dot publish dot enabled is equal to true okay now run this right click run as jnit test 
at least one properties file is working we are good okay no need to worry much okay let's see you see it is working for cucumber.properties guys but it's not working you see it, it got published onto the cloud but it's not working there may be a defect with this guys okay don't worry about this uh, there is a defect maybe okay with that uh, jnit hyphen platform dot properties right there is a defect so let's ignore that okay so hope guys you understood uh, hope guys you understood how to publish uh, how to publish cucumber reports onto the cloud using the properties files in this session so that's all for this session guys uh, before winding up this session uh, i'll make sure that uh, i have removed the properties file and uh, right click run as jnit test uh, we should get the activate publishing option in the output console yeah we are good now okay i have reset the things so that's all for this session guys thank you bye